Hey everybody, Tom Davis here, America's Canine Educator. I'm here at the Upstate Canine Academy today. Uh, I want to throw another video up there and talk about another um, topic that you guys have asked me to talk about. Um, again, my way is definitely not the only way and I don't know everything by any means. However, I do have a lot of statistics and analytics from all the dogs that I've worked with over the years. So I'm going to shed my opinion and my light on dog parks. And <clears throat> dog parks, first and foremost, I think it's a fantastic idea. And I think it's a great opportunity for a town or a community to say, hey, this is an area where our dogs are going to be able to go. And it's fenced off usually. <clears throat> and I love the idea of having a specific area for dogs to go and run and play and, and be dogs. However, with, with that many dogs and that many people comes a lot of negativity. And for the most part, it's more negative than positive, unfortunately. So I don't bring my dogs to uh, any type of, of, of dog parks for multiple different reasons. Um, a couple different reasons just right off the bat is it's unregulated for the most part, which means usually, I mean, it, it depends where you live, but usually there's absolutely no registration that you have to do to get into a dog park, which means there's no checking for vaccinations. There's no, uh, d there's no like physical checks of like, if your dog's terribly sick, there's no behavior evaluation to go into a dog park. So um, it's literally in a gigantic free for all. And I personally think Every single time you go to a dog park, there's a 50-50 chance something's going to happen one way or the other. Um, so keep that in mind that it's 100% unregulated. And that, to me, exposing my dogs to something that's 100% unregulated is not fair to them because we're bringing them there. So that's that's really the first thing I want to talk about. The other thing is, is it's, if it is fenced off, it's usually gated. And if anybody out there has worked in a daycare or has worked with dogs professionally, anytime you add a gate to more than five dogs, it becomes in a very, very stimulated, um, overstimulated negative uh, process. I mean, mean, you get all these dogs rushing and then you get a new dog in or you get another dog in. It's so much. That's where you get redirective fights. I've seen a ton of videos on dogs just redirecting on each other because they're too stimulated. None of the dogs know each other. None of the owners know each other. And uh, to their defense, some of you guys out there do go to dog park on a regular basis. You guys know each other well, but for the most part, you never really know what's coming through that gate. And for me, that's scary as hell. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, is there's a lot of bully dominant uh, behaviors going on in dog parks, which means enter a new dog and then you get the king of the castle type thing coming running over and presenting a very dominant behavior, which then immediately triggers a fight, which leads me to my next topic of if there is a dog fight in a dog, a regular dog park, first of all, what are you going to do about it? Second of all, you are then exposing as many, and I've seen dog parks up to 50 dogs in before. You get a dog fight and you are just literally asking for like an, a, a piranha attack of, of things. Um, if dogs get into a fight, they don't just sit there and watch. They, they interact. They get into it too and then they get into a fight. And so that's always like a big thing for me. Um, and so um, the professionals out there who, who work with dogs on a regular basis all know that dog parks are a very scary place, um, especially for newer dogs. So puppies, imagine putting your puppy into a dog park and having them bombarded by even 10 dogs. It's extremely dangerous and it's extremely rude to expose your dog to that behavior. And again, before anybody gets upset about, you know, the things that I'm saying is number one, it's true. And number two, I love the idea of a dog park. Um, unfortunately, it just never works out that way, which leads me to my next topic of why dog parks are not great is you have to trust everything. You have to trust every single person that's in that dog park that their dog is not sick, their dog is 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 nice. Um, because here's the thing is, I have a lot of people coming in. I, I'll tell you this, every single time a dog has been attacked has been at a dog park from walking into that gate. My dog is changed, my dog is fearful, my dog's aggressive, my dog's reactive, why? because they got attacked at a dog park. My dog is sick, my dog is this, my dog is that. All of these things are taken from dog parks. Unfortunately, like I, I wish that they, they worked, 
but they just don't. And um, I'm trying to just expose my, um, you know, expose my knowledge about them of everyone coming in telling me all these bad things that are happening. Um, so the more information I put out there, um, the better. Um, which then, you know, leads me to my my next thing is dog. And you could go to your vet and ask your vet this if you don't take my word for it. Dog parks are a cesspool of diseases and. Uh, I mean, think about it. You're a responsible dog owner. You know your dog's playful. You know your dog is excitable. You know your dog is very submissive. Great. You go to the dog park. Your dog takes a poop. You clean it up. Good for you, good Samaritan. Unfortunately, not everybody's like you. So you're going to get Joe Schmo, who just adopted this brand new dog from the shelter that's three and a half years old that has no idea what other dogs are, and we don't even know if they're nice or they're not. What's your first thing? Let's go to the dog park to make friends. Well, you get a little puppy in like this that's not only getting bullied in the dog park, but is a little nervous. And then we have Joe Schmo letting in his brand new 50 pound mix and there could be trouble. And so just know that everybody isn't on the same page and you're exposing your dog to that. And again, everybody out there that works with dogs professionally knows what I'm talking about. Um, and unfortunately, dog parks just don't work. Um, it's just, it's not good. Um, it, it creates a lot of bad behavior. And every single dog that has come through that door that's ever gotten sick has gotten it from the dog park. So if your dog loves the dog park, great. Uh, I'm not telling people not to go, but just know at some point in time, um, you're exposing your dog to a lot of dangers, uh, not only environmental, other dog aggressive dangers, but um, your dog becoming sick or taking in something that, you know, somebody who really doesn't give a crap about their dog and um, they just, they're too lazy to walk their dog. So they throw them in a dog park and then let them poop and then they leave and they're sick and they're, they're, they're eating stuff. And then your dog eats their poop and it's just nasty. So anyway, that's my, that's my thing on the dog parks. Um, let me know what you guys think. I mean, let's talk about it down in the comments. Um, I'd love to interact with you guys on it. Again, I'm not like totally against the idea of dog parks. I really actually love the idea of that happening. It's just, I don't trust the public with my dog. Um, and, and that means like, you know, you have all of these other people that could potentially be ruining your dog for you. And um, the people that I work with that are actually trying to get out behaviors are, are then going into dog parks and having them be removed. So anyway, let me, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like this video, share it if it's applicable. Um, and let's talk about it down in the comments. I'll talk to you guys later.